As you know, Israel and Syria were involved uh, over the last six years in on and off uh, going negotiations regarding the possibility of reaching a peace agreement between the two countries. So the one of the aspects that is now checked whether the false information change the interpretation of Israeli decision makers regarding uh, Syria's intentions vis-a-vis -vis the peace front and obviously Syria's intentions uh, in, in, in connection with the, the possibility of war. <laughs> It's going to, to damage the reputation and the image of the intelligence community among the Israeli public. Uh, it's going to affect relations between the intelligence community and the decision makers in Israel, because decision makers in Israel would be now much more suspicious about information they are provided by the intelligence community. And it's also going to affect uh, the image or, and the public relations of the intelligence community among uh, friendly uh, intelligence organizations around the world, especially the CIA. As you know, Israel has excellent intelligence. And we have a lot of agency from different parts, areas, and we are not doing our national association only basing in one side information. Then uh, the bad information that arrived, it's not change our association.